Hello everyone, it's your girl Jossie aka J Renee back at it again with another video. So today's video we're going to be doing my hair. It's obviously done now. I did these but in this video we're going to be adding beads and stuff and it's also a wash day. I didn't exactly record me washing my hair. I didn't really know how to do that. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to do my hair. We're going to add beads. It's going to look so cute so stay tuned as well as doing my hair i'm going to be answering a few questions we're going to do a q a today um some of these questions i've just gotten over the past years about my hair compliments questions stuff like that as well as i asked instagram people on instagram to ask me questions that they had about my hair so i can answer them in the video so if your question got it yeah you're golden you're amazing Thank you for participating. So before we get into the video, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're gonna get back into doing the DIYs. I know I've been gone for a minute, you know, school, whatever. But we're back now for the summer, so we're gonna get it popping. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So it's wash day. She's looking a little roughish and very much blue every time I touch her. My hands kind of turn blue. <laughs> So we're into a little wash day. I haven't done my own wash day in like forever because I would go to get my hair done and retwist it and all that. Hi Jocelyn, it's mommy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little length check as well and just have a good old time. So let's get into it. So the shampoo we're gonna use today is the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. This is the only shampoo that we have at the house. This is the only one I really use. I don't do my hair at the house much. This is the conditioner, Strengthen and Restore by Shea Moisture, but it's a little thick, so I might not use that one. I don't want to put that in my hair. The other one I do have is the Intensive Hydration Conditioner by Shea Moisture, and I think that's the one we're gonna get to. So it's now shower time. I didn't exactly record my hair washing it, um, but I split it into sections and washed it like that because of the blue. But here it is all freshly washed and long. This is my length check. Y'all can see how long it is. I'm not really sure exactly the length because all of my hair is different lengths, but it's very much uneven. So we're gonna cut a little bit at the bottom. They're still blue because just the dye just didn't all come out and that's okay because I like it still blue. We're gonna cut it a little later. So we're gonna use a comb, kind of, some shining jam, the yellow one, I like the purple one too, some rubber bands, some beads from the beauty supply store, and the little beater thing. And then also this hairdo by Oyen. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then this lemongrass oil, we're gonna put all throughout my scalp. I got it from my hairstylist, she's amazing. First, we wanna cut off a little bit. I think I've already cut some before. That's the little bit that I've cut. We're gonna cut a little more because I just want it to be even and I don't really care. Some of my ends don't look so good anyway, so we just gonna cut them off. Now it's a little better. Um, it's still not all even, but it's better than it was before, trust me. This is so much better. And I'm doing a little more cutting. There's like, when there's like a weak spot, I'll always cut that off because it's just better to stay healthy. And so let's get into the hair. Um, put oil and all of my scalp. This oil smells so good, oh my gosh. And just scrub that through my scalp gently. And then this oil, as I said, it smells great as well. I did not know I had a hole in my shirt. Don't mind that. Just disregard it altogether. Put that all through my hair. Put it up in a little bun. And then we're gonna get started on the back. I'm looking at a mirror right now, but I'm gonna use the double mirror method, I guess, to look behind me and see which locks to pull out first. Definitely was not even when I did this in the back. I don't know what's going on back there, but this is what I could kind of see and kind of not see with showing you guys my process. So I put in the lock in the shine and jam and then split my hair using the comb. I didn't really need the comb. I don't know how to use it if I'm not looking at it. So I just used the comb, combed it out at the root, then twisted it, 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 it to my liking. <laughs> and then palm rolled it the rest of the way down to make sure that lock is uniform. Then kind of rolled it at the end because I'm gonna do two strand twists here. So I'm just waiting. I didn't pin it because I'm just waiting for the other lock to be done. So then I can just twist them together and I don't need that many clips. And so here, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even use the comb right. I definitely just used my fingers. Do not mind my fingernails there. I look down bad in this video and it's okay. Um, but those two look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and twist it now. The first way I twisted was definitely wrong, so twist it the other way so it doesn't unravel. I don't know exactly, I think you twist it like to the left or something, something like that. But we twisted it all the way down. 
And I think I just put the beater on there just to hold it down. I didn't put beads on it yet because I didn't even open the package. So we're just gonna open the package now. I got these beads from Beauty For You. I got two packs, it's like a blue and clear one and like a white and clear one, something like that. And so that's how I set up the beads in threes and fours. And so I just put the beads on the beater just as so and then put my hair through the open part. And this is the first one, so I struggle like a lot. Um, and then just like pull the beads up. I thought my hair was gonna be too thick for these beads because I did a two strand twist, but it wasn't. And I did it well and used the rubber band to wrap it around the first bead at the bottom. And that one took a while to do the first time, but I finally got it. As you can see, I'm struggling, but it's okay. We're gonna get, I'm gonna show you guys again so you understand better. And so I can explain it better okay and see there we go that's our first little lock and bead we love that yeah <laughs> so it's all time for the next two i didn't know what was going on back here and so i was just trying to figure out what i was going to do there's three here and i needed two and it just doesn't make sense to me so i put one of them up then did the palm roll method again all the way down these next two locks and then I'm gonna two strand twist it all the way down. I don't know what was going on with the camera. It was trying to focus. It was not helping me today. I clipped it at the end to hold it down just to put the beads on the beater thing and then put the my hair through the open part and then slide the beads onto my hair like so. It really shouldn't take that much depending how thick your locks are, but my locks are pretty thin. So it just worked out for me. Then use your rubber band. I soaked my rubber bands in oil a little bit. Um, I've just seen that method somewhere and I like it. So that's why I use it. Um, I've had to push my hair right through these little beads and now we have two and now they're super cute. Now to take a bunch of hours to do the rest of my head and I'll be back. Here is like a third of my head done. Um, I think hopefully you get the gist of how I did these, but now it is question time. So you can just watch and listen at the same time. So first question, when did I start my locks? I started my locks uh, like July, 2017. I was a sophomore or junior in high school, I think is when I started. So it'll be about five years in July, 2022. So I'm happy about that. My locker, lockerversary. Lock anniversary is coming up soon, yay. Next question, what made me want locks was, I think it was a lot of things. My hair was never that long and I've seen them on lots of family, lots of friends, and I just wanted them for a while and it was just about time that I was like, okay, Jocelyn, you need to get your locks. And so it's funny because five months later, my mom started hers as well. Next one, have I ever considered wicks? I just had to recently look up what wicks were because when I started my locks, I knew nothing about that. So no, I've never considered it. If I'm not mistaken, it's that method where there's like, they're really like thick locks on your head. And I kind of don't like that on me. I kind of like the small locks on my head. I don't want my hair to stand up and be like stiff like that. I love it when it has movement and stuff like that. So yeah. Next one, how long did my locks usually take to lock? Um, I think I remember seeing them bud or something about like three or four months in. I think they like, I could tell that they were locking up about six months in, so that was cool. Next one, did I ever use the rice water method? No, I did not use the rice water method, although I've heard amazing things about it. I kind of just let my hair do its thing. One thing about my uh, stylist, my electrician, she kind of just told me to get out the mirror, leave my hair alone, and it'll just grow. And that's kind of what it did. It really just bloomed, blossomed, you know, as when I stopped looking at it, when I stopped playing with it, when I stopped messing with it. So I kind of just let it grow and do it do what it do by itself, you know? Your hair is just, it wants to grow. So just let it, you know what I'm saying? Next question, would I ever cut or comb my locks out? No, like I've had dreams about it. Like I've shaved my head or something, but no, in real life, definitely not. I would want to be married with locks. I want to have kids with locks. So like I, the next 10 or so years, I expect to still have a full head of locks. So no time soon will I be cutting my hair off. <laughs> Do I ever miss my free natural hair? 
yes and no like i said my hair was never that long but i do miss the curls like my curls was popping but yes and no sometimes i think i'm almost done here i didn't finish all the questions we're gonna finish those at the end but i'm almost done i am just putting these beads on the last sections of my hair as you can tell i kind of just twisted them all up that last quarter of my hair and then put the beads on i thought it was faster because at this point i was tired it was like three in the morning it's time to go to sleep i think this look took about seven hours for me to do not including the shower and now we are all done look at these looks look so good oh my gosh look at the beads they were swinging i don't know if you can hear the beads but they were so cute i love them and they just like added so much pizzazz and i thought I, these were so cute so maybe you should try them and if you do let me know and if you have any more questions let me know in the comments below just a gentle reminder they are beads and when they hit me in the face it did hurt so just don't be wild but i really did love this look like it's so cute i really loved it yes and this is how they looked one night out i didn't have any actual pictures with just the beads which i'm kind of sad about because these were like the cutest thing i think i I had them in for about two weeks even though they kept hitting me in the face and kind of being annoying but you know they was cute now time for the rest of the questions okay we're back with some more questions i couldn't fit them all in the video but before we get into the questions i have to shout out i can't talk about my hair unless i talk about my stylist my loctician that has started my locks like she's from day one she started my locks um and she's done every single style that i've wanted she's colored my hair she's just amazing shout out to you lena locks natural hair is her at on instagram but miss lena i love you you're amazing and she's just a, my hair would not look this good if it wasn't for her let's just let's just say that that's period okay so now we're gonna get back into the questions so next question do you use any products to speed up the growing process no like i said before um you just gotta let your hair grow like leave it alone don't put no too much product too many products in it i you literally only use oil and water like on a daily basis sometimes not even daily like every other day but yeah literally just water and oil unless i'm washing my hair next question how often do you style your locks um i get them styled this is my go-to style but i get them styled every time i get my hair done i might like choose a different style if i'm like feeling risque not risque if i'm feeling like really good that that week like i have something to do like i'll get curls i'll get like an updo i'll get um i'll get them like all pushed to the side or something it just depends so often but not too often because i gotta let my hair breathe and relax like this is a great style that i can have in for a couple weeks and it still not be too much pulling and stuff on my hair like yeah this next one kind of ties in do i have a favorite lock style um no well no there's this one style i want to do i want to do like the the twist but having like the little thickness thicker um things at the end but my hair is not that long i haven't i feel like i haven't try enough styles to have a favorite one this is just my go-to because it's easy and simple and i can like put it up up do down do left do right do i can all do all the do's you know what i'm saying so answer is no i guess how many locks do i have i don't know like you know people usually know how, how many locks they have but i don't know like i don't remember counting i haven't counted since like 2018 and since then i've combined some so i really you know what i can count right now hold up one two i'll be right back i'll be right back let me count my locks 129 129 locks is how many locks i have yeah i counted by twos because they're in two strand twists now so it's so much easier to count but I have an odd number of locks because every time I do two strand twists, there's always one twist that has three locks in it. So yeah, it's whatever. Um, 129 locks. I'll have to remember that because yeah. Now for the color questions. Lots of color questions. So what made me get blue and how long have I been blue? I have been blue for about almost two years now. It'll be two years in August. Um, so like that's my color. I've had so many nicknames from this blue like i just love it no blue is not my favorite color my favorite color is purple 
but um i've already had purple hair I, if i had those pictures i'll put them in i've had purple hair i've had red hair i've had brown hair that was because that color washed out because of the beach water and now blue but i will be having it's another question i will be changing my hair color this fall i guess i kind of wanted to be surprised i've told like close friends the color that i'm gonna do next but if you want to guess you can leave it in the comments and guess what color uh hair i'm gonna have next and so that's pretty much it um if y'all have any more questions you can leave them down in the comments below i answer everybody so don't hesitate to ask that's all the questions that i have today so thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video share it with someone who wants to get locks because i feel like everybody has thought about it at, like, at least once you know at least once just join the club come to the bright side you know your your life will change okay like this is an amazing community and you just want to be a part of it okay join the winning team if that is all then thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video bye